Guys, without further ado here, Losers Finals 8-Bit Man on the run back from Winner's Side. Originally losing 3-0 to Tony. He's going to get the run back here in Loser. We'll see how things go between these two. Rob versus Sonic. Quick little advertisement for our monthly sub-only tournament here. No contest. Register now. SmashGG.2DGNC. Nice, look at the pressure here. Oh, forward hit the double down tilt. And you can see the shield get small if Tony did not angle that right, man. He would have gotten a shield poke. That would have been a big opening for Ape Man. All right, Ape Man feeling himself, dude. If he was able to get here, that W over Kier right here, we saw in losers' quarters. Definitely look a little more confident against Tony's a tank here, but Tony confirming that spin dash into forward air. Definitely halting Ape Man a little bit on his fire. Oh, what a call here on the aerial. Ape Man not gonna let that go unpunished, but Tony looking for another aerial. I'm sorry, spin dash forward air. Amazing. That's Robo Arms, nice. Not a stock here, but stage control here for Ape Man. We're gonna punish that cross up here with the forward air. Down smash, stage control with gyro. I like that from Tony. Kind of holds in place. Doesn't want to roll. Doesn't want to retreat to the ledge here. He doesn't want to fall into Ape and Man just yet. Goes for the up B. Pressure? Nice. No grab here for Ape and Man. Tony getting out of the way. Smash, yeah. Last hit, enough. Ape Man looking to stop the control here against the Sonic here. Stopping that movement. Here's the forward, I'm sorry, neutral right here into the Robo Arms. Gyro to put in some pressure here. That's forcing Tony to not able to retreat. I think that's what's really good here for Ape Man. Is he stops Tony in his tracks. If Sonic wants to retreat towards the ledge, he has to worry about interacting with Gyro, and that would give Ape Man time to go for another option. So use the robo arms trying to armor through the spin dash. Where are the right. attempt here? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I came back just to see Ape Man get the up smash with the two stock. Dang. That was crazy. That was a big brain play. And I think that was really good too because he dragged this man. He literally moved him with the shield because literally Tony didn't want to let go of shield being worried about neutral air or up smash and even then he missed the second one but ape man let rip the second up smash to catch the landing there that was really good that was a pretty big iq play that's kind of one of the benefits of like having those like the fact that you can't run through an opponent with shield you just basically move them all other fighting games do that too as well like street fighter definitely has it has always had that I remember there being like some interesting stuff you could do with tech chases that people found in the beginning of this game where like you like knock them down, they miss a tech and then you like push them a little bit and then go for your like your, your setup to like yeah. kill them a little bit earlier. I think Zero Zero Suit does it the most, I think. No, and then and then uh, Locks kid, Locks kid says definitely like Sonic should have grabbed, but that's the thing too. It's the pressure that Ape Man had on Tony that like he literally conditioned this man that if he wanted to go for a grab, it's probably not in his best interest being scared of probably getting hit by Nair or on Smash. But Tony looking to turn these jets up to 11 here almost gets the huge huge forward air at the end to take an early stock. Yeah, he killed Ape Man in their first set, like. Within so, so seconds. early with yeah. the... Yeah, yeah. Spin dash forward air is ridiculous. Like, the spin dash itself already put, pulls you into the blast zone. And then the forward air just kills you. And I don't even know how you would even DI it either. That's like the crazy part. 
Oh man, almost. Speak about the good DI here, man. Apex man, holding the good DI to not avoid to die early to that. Another one. Yeah. They all you like up smash? Huh? Here's here's my new up smash. <laughs> yeah, that's a Sonic up smash buff. Pretty good for him. Fucking what? Honestly, the buffs in general <laughs> for Sonic really really good. Oh man, this is huge. Like you said, man, carrying this man to the blast on Ape Man. He's the oh tough my! Trade. Tough trade, Tony, with a three stock lead, look, making like making game one look like it never happened. Ape Man, though, He's gotta keep his composure here. He doesn't want to lose it. Jeez, these combos from Tony right now are ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I thought he was just gonna carry him to the blast zone again. <laughs> Yeah, that's big. Ape Man finally gets the mobile arms here in the stock. A little bit of breath of fresh air for Ape Man. Definitely been feeling the receiving end coming out from Tony. A, another attempt at mobile arms, not enough though. Ape Man, yeah, has to stall that recovery. Oof. Oh, dude. He spent too much time off stage, yeah. I didn't even know you could, like, cancel his spin dash, like, to do that. <laughs> He like, looked like he like jumped out of the spin dash and like immediately got next to Rob. That was gross, not gonna lie. Tony, <laughs> Tony definitely shut down any momentum Ape Man got from getting the two stock game one. Yeah, he shut that down real quick. Yeah, he shut it down real. I, th I think, like, Aven Man did a really good job of, like, okay, hold on. I, I don't want to recover on stage. I don't want to get hit by a spin dash. I don't want to get hit by forward smash. I don't want to even get hit by forward tilt. Right? He did it, but he spent too much time off the stage. And the problem was that, like, you know what? Sonic has enough speed to actually just go off the stage and shark him forward with forward air. And then that's literally what Tony just understood at the end. All right, well, game three here. Big game for these two, man. One puts up set point against the other. Counter picks with all that. Oh, Tony looking to get that forward smash early for that stock, possibly. Never mind. Here, she was on the other foot here. Ape Man punishing him for going over. And he gets the landing first. Once again, Ape Man looking to return the favor against Tony. Good laser here. That's forcing Tony to go above him here, but he still gets the punish. Actually, surprised he was able to grab uh, Sonic's up air out of shield. I, I thought it was like very, very safe. But I guess he didn't drift left or right, so. Yeah. <laughs> how did he know? Oh my, I asked him, that's what I need to know. That's what I, I need to ask Brett on that one, how did he know? Well, it, it also scoops off the ground too, so even if he didn't jump, it would've got him. Yeah, if I he think. jumped, it would've got him, but also if he landed, remember, Ob Smash has a front hitbox that connects to the main one. That's another thing too, yeah. I can't believe I forgot my own thing. I'm glad that we're seeing Ape Man angle the laser a little bit more. I think he needs to do that because it also hits the ground but stops jumps. And also use the gyro to control the ground. Yeah, that's big down throw forward. Yes. I oh, still got the side media trade there. Oh, nice gyro yeah. positioning. Mm -hmm. Set of best strides. Gyro positioning definitely matter. And the end oh, of the robot wow. arms because he started it from the stage. Tony looking to strike back though. He is not falling far behind. Double up air from the from the up B. Not enough just yet. We talked about it here in Witness 2 strides. That up B for Sonic is so good to stop characters like Rod and Snake. Yeah, if they ever just commit to going high with their recovery. Sonic can chase them super far. Oh, 
Oh, we're not enough here. It's not off the stage. Man, I'm going for that low recovery. I like that change up a little bit here. Not going to stall. Hold shield. Nice. Able to roll through. Move to to see if he can call out the spin dash afterwards here. Down throw. Not enough. I like the way from Ape Man, too. He knows. Sonic's love to go for that down throw for a reason. Over there, that's a confirm. Ape Man here. Even stocks with Tony. 27, man. He's got to play his cards right. Oh, the gyro <laughs> positioning too. Ape Man with the Nair. That's a good combo from Sonic, though. Yeah. Oh, but that homing attack. Yeah, Ape Man's starting to get a feel of how he can punch that meat. Kind of scary for Rob to land right now. Already got left in percent. These big combos from Sonic. Yeah, big combos yeah. indeed here. 139. Ape Man has to watch out, but unfortunately, Ooh, Rob is so nice. huge. And the forward smash from Tony is enough to catch even the arm from Rob. And it puts Tony on set point 2 1 over Ape Man on game three. Yeah, he keeps. Or he very often will try to shark through the ledge with this up air. But, like, yeah, him extending his hurt box by doing that move made it even easier for Sonic's huge forward smash to connect. Oof. This is pretty much a nail biter between these two. I don't know if this might go to game five strides the way these two have been kind of playing and adapting against each other. Definitely true. But uh yeah, no ape man, he definitely doesn't want to get double eliminated by uh, Tony here. <laughs> Game four, potentially the last game between these two men. Tony the Tank on set point, Ape Man, man. One last chance to push this game five. See who's gonna go here to winner's final. Oh, sorry, grand finals. Ape Man, man, dude, still either way. Consistency at the top eight level all the time. Of course, you no, know, in the tournament to win, but if he did, you know, lose here to uh, Tony, you're like, oh. Oh, so you proud of this performance? Oh, this dude, showing I'm, how yeah. he is. I, I'm, I'm always proud of Brad, dude. He, he puts in a lot of work. Holder, yeah. Great DI from Brad, though. Look at that play. Gotta fight for the stage here. Tony, yeah, we're using that upbeat to get that back air. Not enough. Ape Man landing on this platform, holding shield safely. A little scared there for Ape just because he went for two rolls. Tony could have punished that, especially with that spin dash he had. I talked about this with Sonics too here. One thing that Sonic is means to use that spin dash for is to look at how you're gonna react. It's a way to just test your opponent and see, okay, how is he gonna react? What's his option here in the neutral? How is he gonna play? Is he gonna be aggressive? Is he gonna be passive? Back air parry. Forward air out of the shield here. Ape Man able to push his global arms and stick. First stock taken here. 118. The man's gonna watch the landing using Nair and drifting back towards the ledge here. And that's good too, because he gets to move a little bit away from Sonic. That's what he needs to consistently do here. Just move away from Sonic and try to hold stage and the control and the gyro. Living here. Oh, even <laughs> drifting. Oh, he keeps trading with that force smash. That's yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I think if I were ape it here seeing how that happened, I think it's just time to just kind of stall or line on the stage rather than try to use an aerial and then maybe just use laser instead of up air. It's definitely true. He definitely has a lot of options to get off the ledge besides with, you know, aerials. Exactly, exactly. Change the game plan up here. He's got Tony, he's got Tony pressure. Look at where the gyro was too. Tony can't go back to the ledge here, so he's forced to fight towards the stage.
little scared on Ethan there. He's got some trigger happy rolls. Most of the time, it's pretty good defensive here, but there's a situation where he just could have hold the stage instead of rolling and trying to get a back throw or a reaction or a punish. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to get gyro up smash. That's enough. Throw? Yeah. Safe bet, safe bet. Because forward throw just would have turned turn him off stage and would have reset the edge guard phase. But it's good to just get the pummel and get the up throw. Because it's more true at this point for the stock. <gasps> That's big. That's big. Stop oh, you need left grab the ledge. <gasps> oh, wow. The lingering there actually helping Tony quite a bit. Yeah. If the man going for the low, really, really deep recovery, good tech. Wow. What a crazy offstage sequence <laughs> for Tony just to even up the stocks. This is potentially, though, the last game for a bit man in this tournament if Tony's able to bring this back. So far, not so good, though. All these gyros are just pelting Sonic over and over. Ooh! Ooh another big up smash call out, dude. I feel like a man goes in that range where you're just... You're pressured of like maybe a down tilt or a gyro or, or any other move like that, and then he calls out the jump and then gets the yellow smash. Like, I've seen him do that so many times tonight. You're so right on this because every single time he's forced Tony to jump or to be careful about the ledge, it's because, yeah, things are like what you said, Bryce. He's going for down tilt, he's going for jab, he's, he has gyro at the ledge. And that forces Tony to really consider, is the ledge even safe with pressure tools like that active? And then once Ape Man had literally put that into play, that conditioning as well, Up Smash was an excellent read because literally Tony had nowhere else to go but to jump and to try to get away. Uh, yeah, that's why. That's why we see Ape Man bring this to game five. Really, really see, want to see uh, what Tony can do here. Alright guys, game five. Last step between these two. Nathan, man, making a lose is run out of his mind. No matter what, dude, you gotta give it to both of these players. They've been playing out of their mind. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, this is tough for Tony. Look at this pressure. 61. Down there. He's still got legend invincibility. Oh, yeah, Ape Man's not wasting any time when it comes to racking up this percent and uh, just putting Tony in some very scary spots, especially off stage or at the ledge. Corner carry. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's not enough shield damage, but I still got to respect on Ape Man. He had this man so pressured that he might have tried to jump out of shield. Okay, Tony strikes back here. No forward air. Tony's gonna watch himself on the recovery act. Good way to come back with shield. Good for him to use the up B2 because he avoids the up air on the return here, but unfortunately, Ape Man's gonna get that grab and puts Tony out of the stock here. Ape Man with the first stock yet again, like game five, or game four, I'm sorry. He took the first stock here. Spells good timing for Ape Man. We saw how that went down in game four when he took the first stock as well. I mean, just usually in most matchups with Sonic, like him being forced to approach is usually a bad thing for him. Yeah. But especially now that he's fighting a character with a great projectile too, it's, it's yeah, it can be very frustrating. Not only just a great projectile, we've seen how this talent so frame has not been corner carrying Tony, but Tony on the return of the stage with his back air. He's making sure Ape Man is fighting for it here. This is what I wanted to see from Ape Man. We talked about his strides. That laser when it's angled is so good. Stopping Tony from the spin dash. Tony with a good cross up too. Gets around the other side of the stage here. With no driver in play, Tony doesn't have to worry about that added pressure. Calls out the laser at the starter frame. This is big. Oh, that was a great on the attack. Yet. Oh, nice catch. Okay, All right. Tony's been catching Ape Man here on these stalls. Nope. No use. Oof. Dang. Not able to get that uh, side B to work. 
And that just put him in so much in lag after missing that that Tony had all the time to get him back out of his own. Yeah. 33%. Man, I don't even think Tony even, like, meant to get that. Like, he didn't even get the max damage he could have got, but that was still, like, so much. Oh, and it's just getting racked up right now. Only 64 with two stocks? Yeah, even man. Not looking good. Oh, it's oh. right to the blast zone, man. That pin dash forward air. Tony has gotten, like, at least a dozen kills with that setup alone tonight. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff from Tony. A double.